everyone, this is a treat to back in of another deck review today. I have for you a very interesting deck. It's a vintage, I think it's vintage anyway. It's supposed to be a tarot deck of cards from France. And uh, we can get in France. It's from uh, Heron, is the name of the company I produced it, I guess. And just Heron, and you see the Heron, I guess, bird. It says tarot, zoo, the 78 cards, plus the fees. Coins, doors, regular, the zoo, toilene. So it's got rules for this game. Toilene, and uh, it says quality, France. It's the plastic case. On the case, you actually see four embossed pips. And the other side, you get the hero on local. Here's the back design. You get to the cards. First of all, there's a little, this is kind of like the cover card. There's also the rules in France. I don't understand a whole lot. I learned French in school a long time ago, but it was my worst subject. <laughs> um, then you get this cards, I get little ad cards. It's Heron, the Maitre, Cartier, Ayant, Obtenue, Le Label, Quality, France, whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know. And you also get rules for this game. bit of damage there. Then you get this card, the Joker, or I guess it could be the uh, Fool, and it says France in the two corners, and it's got four stars. Very colorful, beautiful artwork, very nice. And then you get the tarot cards, I don't know what, what each one represents. There's a little low winner for heroin, I guess, on top and bottom. Number one, number two, three, Four and five cease set wheat neuf these <laughs> they're also different from one side to the other as you can see so you have two different readings on each card basically this must be love perhaps I don't know Very interesting, nice colors, bright. I don't know which one is the death card, but there should be one here representing death somewhere. But that's that part of the deck. Then I got aces, they're actually ones. There's your ace of spades and the hearts, standard pips. Fairly standard index says the Ace of Clubs is the special one. Just cards as you are here on, made in France. That's playing cards in France, and that's the Aces. And then of course we get to the court cards, which are also very beautiful, in my opinion. This is the Kings, the uh, Ray. Actually, you can see Royals, Dames, Cavaliers, and Valets are your suits. So. That's the king with an R. Also, they got four indexes and suit indicators. They're beautiful artwork, very nice, big, obviously, and colorful. There's a valet, the cavalier, the dam, dame, sorry. <laughs> and they use the French suits, which makes sense. Some decks you'll see they say they have the you know the cups and and the and the, uh, you know, the, the cups and the pentacles and stuff like that. Not this one. Also in the corners, some of them say Huron. And some of them say France. And it just, it seems pretty random. It's not specific to any value or suit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get for these very quickly, hopefully. And they are, of course, bigger than a standard poker deck, they are tarot size, obviously. And then your number cards, fairly straightforward. And that's that. Goes in there as well. It's a pretty big deck. One thing I noticed as well is the sides. 
There is actually a gilding in the corners. As you can see, a gold gilding. But not on the edges. I don't know if it just wore out. I don't think that's the case because it's not... This deck is not... It's barely used, if at all. Certainly no wear and tear on it. So that would mean, for some reason, they actually gilded the corners. But that's it. I'm guessing maybe it's just for some added protection in the corners. I don't know. The backs... Uh, this nice pattern. It seems to vary. I don't know if it's supposed to be marked or what, but you can see it seems to vary from card to card. So it's kind of a little bit bizarre. Handles beautifully, as you can see. Spreads nicely. I <laughs> can't actually fan it. Of course, if there was half as many cards, it'd probably look better. But I actually fan it's pretty good. And you can see the finish on there. It's nicely embossed lid and finish. These cards are in excellent condition. Unfortunately, I don't know how old they are. Just that they're supposed to be vintage according to the seller. I got these on Etsy. But they barely seem like they're vintage at all. But they're beautiful. I like them. And I figured, why not have a nice French-styled, vintage, supposedly, tarot deck for my collection. I don't have a lot of tarot decks, but it's nice to have some. But I think it's pretty cool. There's a couple others I've seen on Etsy, but I'm not too interested. I just wanted one, and I'm happy with the one I got. So that is that. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty awesome. Check out collectiblepunkcards.com. Use the code VJZ32 to save 10% on your order. Comment, rate, subscribe. If I didn't say that already. And um, I'll see you next time with more. I'm expecting another one from Usai. I don't know where that one is, but the Eros, which is a erotic tarot deck that was from one of their previous Kickstarter projects that I didn't pledge for at the time. I mean, I pledged for the poker deck, but not the tarot deck. And... Regretted it, but I'm finally getting it. Hopefully, soon. That is that, though, for this one. See you next time with more. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention at this year. I forgot to rate it. Silly me. I guess I just wasn't thinking about that because I've been looking at a whole bunch of vintage decks and stuff like that. Casino decks. Uh, but this one I'm definitely going to rate. And I'm going to say... Nine and a half out of ten. Or ten out of ten. It's a... Uh, very nice deck, handles good, in good shape, beautiful artwork, I like it so, yeah, 10 out of 10, I like it. See you next time with more.